This is a continuation of Solving Quadratic Inequalities, Part 2, and I will give you a shortcut. Last time I uh, discussed the inequality, a very simple one. x square minus 2 larger than 0. Uh, today I want to discuss a slightly, slightly longer yin equality. x square minus x minus 12 less than 0. This, uh, the first step is to factor the left hand side. So the factored form is x minus 4 times x plus 3 less than 0. Now the next step is to find the x-intercepts of the left-hand side, or we can say to find the zeros of the function on the left-hand side. It is not difficult to find the zeros. x is equal to 4, x is equal to negative 3. Then we sketch the function on the left hand side with these two x intercepts. Mark down the two x-intercepts, 4 and negative 3. The function x squared is positive. I mean, the, the term x squared is positive, which means the parabola opens up. So this is how the parabola looks like. Now the inequality wants the function is less than zero. Less than zero means the function is below the x-axis, or the function is negative. So this part, this part of the function is below the x-axis. So this part is the answer. Now how do we write the answer? The x values are between negative 3 and 4. So the answer is
and this is the answer. But now I'm going to give you a shortcut. The shortcut is that you do not need to sketch the graph. What you need to do is to draw a straight line This straight line is called a number line. Now on this number line, you mark down the two x-intercepts, or to mark down the two zeros. The two zeros are 4 and negative 3. Now these two points divide the number line into three parts. One part is on the right side of the point 4. Another part is between negative 3 and 4. And the third part is to the left side of negative 3. Now the next step is to mark down the sign plus minus sign. We start with plus sign. On the left hand side, uh, on the right hand side, we start with a plus sign and we write plus minus plus from right to left. Note that the plus minus plus. We start the plus sign on the right hand side. The reason we start with plus instead of minus is because the x square term x square term is positive. So if the x square term is positive, we start with the positive sign or plus sign on the right hand side. And then alternate plus minus plus minus plus. Okay. So the number line is done. Then we look at the inequality. I want negative less than zero. Less than zero is negative. I want negative. So go to the number line. I want negative. So then it is very obvious what is the x value for this interval. It is between negative 3 and 4. Therefore this is the answer. So the shortcut is to skip this step. We do not need to sketch the function. We just draw a line which is called a number line and select the interval where the function uh, tells you whether it is uh, above the uh, whether it is positive or it is negative so that is the shortcut let's do one more shortcut way to solve an inequality Uh, x square plus 8x plus 15 is less than or equal to 0. Okay, this inequality. We want to solve this inequality using the shortcut. First is to factor the left hand side. This 
this is the affected form of the left hand side now we want to find the zeros or x intercepts the zeros are negative 5 and negative 3 Draw a number line and mark down negative 5, negative 3. Now we have a number line and also two points, negative 5, negative 3. Go to the uh, inequality, which says I want negative, because it's less than zero. I want negative. Note that x squared term is positive. So I start with positive on the right-hand side, and just alternate plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on. Alternate. So, I have the plus minus marked down, and remember I want negative. So, my answer is the interval in the middle, which is between negative 5 and negative 3. Therefore, my answer is Since my inequality has less than or equal to, so I need an equal sign. This is my answer. Let's have another example. Now, in this example, the left-hand side is already in factored form. So, I need, I need only to find the uh, x-intercepts or the zeros of the left-hand side. What are the zeros? It's obvious that x is negative 1 over 4, x equals 2. Next step is draw the number line. Draw the number line and mark down negative 1 over 4 and 2. The next is to uh, mark plus minus sign. Now this 
is a little different from the previous examples. Look, if you expand the left hand side, look at x square term. The x square terms, the x square term is minus 4x square. Do you see that? The, if you expand it, the x square term is minus 4x square. Therefore, the square term is negative. So, instead of starting with positive sign, we start with negative sign and alternate. So, negative, positive, negative from the right hand side. Look at the original inequality. It is larger than zero or equal to zero. Larger than zero means positive. Therefore, it is the middle interval. It's from negative one over four to two. So my answer is the original inequality has larger than or equal. Therefore, my answer uh, has equal sign as well. So this is my answer. Okay, this is the shortcut. And uh, you will see that it is simpler than uh, sketching the graph. If you have any questions, you can contact me by my telephone number, which is the first page of this video.